Hello and welcome to the finale of The Room! In the last episode, we finished up the fourth chapter of the game and the final chapter of the official main room story that was released on launch. This episode, can, we're going to be playing through the epilogue, which was released after the main game, sort of a bonus kind of teaser for the next game. And so we're going to be playing through it now and finishing The Room. Where on earth am I? Well, let's read this note and see if it can tell us. A queer sense of movement. Not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold and the visions abated. Perhaps they only serve to drive me to this place? The route back closes behind me, but a way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you are just another of my dreams. Well then, let's get started with some puzzle solving. First things first, turn on the eyepiece. I head over to this hamper right here. Rotate the center circle so that it lines up perfectly like so. Then you can take off the eyepiece, rotate around this way, flip the switch, and then get uh, collect the gear, which is going to turn up on the other side of this. Then once you get that, you can back out, head, rotate the camera to this switch, which you'll find here, pull the switch down to reveal a series of spots which we can put the gears. So the first gear is going to go on the bottom, like so. Then push, then push this button to shift that into position for later, and I'll be sure to show you what that has revealed. But for now, we have a bit of a puzzle to solve. So there's two switches we gotta unlock. First, this switch over here on the left, and the switch over here on the right. We're gonna do left, then right. So when you, the, the end goal here is to unlock the switch. You have to turn all of these little things uh, blue. So they're, they're gray at first, and then we gotta turn them blue. We gotta have to turn them all on without, re, without resetting any of them. And if you let go and let it fall back, they will all reset. So, here's what, we, here's what we want to do. We want to move this all the way to the left, then go up to the left again, around this, basically stick to the outer patterns first, and then loop around this way. Then once you get to this turn, uh, this intersection right here, move to the left, go up this side, around this way, down this side, and then into this to flip this first switch, like so. Now for the next one, we're actually going to go the opposite direction, guy going up here, still sticking around the outer edges, like so. Except this time, instead of going along, up along either side, we're actually going to go straight up the middle by going up here, straight through, and then flicking this switch like so. I did not want to back out there. We're going to pull, then we're going to flick this switch. I said we're going to flick this switch. Okay, who is messaging me on Discord? Sorry about the little delay there. I was just getting messaged by someone asking me what the room is, so I explained it was a puzzle game for which I was recording a walkthrough. Anyway, back to business as usual. Uh, after you do that, you're, you're going to get your hands on this metal orb right here, so let's open it up, and then if, you, we, if we go to the top here, we're going to see that there's a little button we can push. If we just shift it into position, push the button to open up the metal orb, and it will give us the second... Nice, it open it up all the way. And this is going to give us the second of the two gears which we can place on that little spot over where we pushed the other gear previously. So once we have this, we can back out. And before we go over to put the gear on, we actually need something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this... Well, first we're going to look at these symbols. So you'll see we, uh, we're at the one dot. We have a triangle with a little wave in the middle of it. This symbol, the little spiral symbol right here for the two dots, and then an, oh, an S symbol for the three dots. Remember that for later. Now we are going to... Nope, nope. We don't want to look at the notebook. We want to go over here to this switch, pull it down, and now let's look at that. A bunch of symbols and a series of dots. So, three dots goes to the S, two dots goes to the spiral symbol, one dot goes to the triangle with the wave in the middle of it, and doing so is going to give us a coin. This is going to be useful for later, but for now what we want to do is head back over to the, uh, the place where we can put the gears, which I mentioned previously, put the gear in place, then push this button in order to get that into position for later, and also reveal to us, to, a, uh, to us a drawer which we can open up and get our hands on a strangely shaped key. Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a pain, but... I promise you, with a little per perseverance, we can get through it. So first thing I'm going to do is put the strangely shaped key in here. Now what we want to do is we want to first turn this that is in the leftmost position, then back out, go over to this little slot right here to get our hands on a metal plate. Then we want to uh, go back here, flip this around to the right hand position, and then turn flip the switch down to shift where the guard gate is right here then go back flip this key to the left once again except this time we'll be able to access the top part where we're going to get our hands on a key and what are we going to do with this key we are going to put it into this slot right here turn it to open it up and now you'll see that we have uh, some symbols that we can interact with so the first so here's what we're going to want to do uh you, you can if we turn this back to the top position you can see what symbols they want in the left and right positions they want this symbol for the left and the musical note symbol for the right. So let's go back, nope, back out, go back to the key. Thank you. So in the left position, 
we are going to uh, switch this around by just dragging it until we arrive at the symbol we want, which is right here. Once it's in place, we can go rotate the key. I said rotate the key around to the other side, and then put the correct symbol in place, which in this case, it's going to be the music note. And then once that is all said and done, there's going to be two buttons that appear here if we switch back to the top perspective. So let's go ahead and do that. Head back over here. Push both these buttons. I believe on mobile you have to put them at the, push them at the same time, but on PC you can just push them uh, one after the other. And now there's going to be a passcode here we have to enter, uh, which is going to be hidden on these prisms right here. So what we're going to want to do is in order to rotate these around, uh, we can slide these back and forth like so. So if we keep sliding them one at a time, we're going to see that the numbers which are revealed are 5, 7, and 3. So, with that in mind, let's head over to this panel right here, input those numbers as we saw them. Alright, so we can't actually do much with this right now, so what we're going to do instead is, you may remember on the letter we found when we first entered this area, it had a little symbol at the top right here with some keys we had to press. Now, take note, on mobile device, or on a mobile device, there are going to be three keys marked here. This one, one in the middle, and this one. But on PC, there's only these two, because of course, you, there's, you, you have more, you, you can tap more things at once on mobile device. Anyway, what we're going to do... Put this handle on this right here, rotate it like so, to reveal a piano. Now, as I'm sure you can discern, we have to push these two keys to fully open it up. On mobile device, you have to hit this key, this key, and this key at the same time. But on PC, you just have to click those two, and then put the coin into the slot down here. Now, pay, I'm going to push this button. Pay very close attention to what the piano does. You then have to repeat the pattern that it plays. You may also recognize it as the room theme. I hit, I definitely, okay, I thought I hit the right key, whatever. That's what I was trying to do the first time, so let's listen to it again. Do the same thing. Now I have to repeat that pattern. I, I definitely hit this key, but okay. Let's try this again. There we go, one more pattern. You have now played the intro to the room theme. Alright, we are now being given two metal handles. What, we're go what are we going to do with these things, you may ask? Well, we are going to head back to the top of the box. Or not the top of the box, but we're going to head away from this piano and go up to that little thing that uh, we, we popped out earlier after we put the numbers into the thing. Put one handle here, one handle here, and now if we put on our eyepiece, we can see that inside this is apparently a little box. If we go around to the other side, the goal here is that if you'll notice if we rotate this, it rotates the box as well. And it also shows the little special, uh, special squares. And the goal here is to slide the special squares onto those pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is rotate like I did, to, so I rotated this, it started in this position, I rotated it to the left until it lined up with the back like so. Then what I want to do is rotate it until this is facing you, and then rotate it this way to get it back up over on this side. Then rotate it once again, and it will be perfectly lined up with this one down here. Then from that position, that after, after you put this in place, you can rotate this one time to the left, and then drag this one in place like so. Now from here, all I gotta do is rotate this one to the right, and then rotate this one to the left, and then this gets your final piece into place, and now you have this puzzle. I don't know why the recording just stopped there. And now we've been given a red gem and a metal plate. Now, have we seen anything on this table that might re slightly resemble this shape? Why, yes. Yes, we have. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to this spot right down here. That'll be useful in a second, as well that. But for now, we're going to head down here. I said we're going to head down. Can I please zoom into this? There we go. Put this in place. That's going to be very important for later. But for now, what we want to do is back out into this board right here. And you'll notice that there are three other gems here, which may or may not just go in that little circle that I was showing you earlier. So for now, what we're going to want to do is get these pieces out one at a time. And we want to get all the gems to this hole right here so that we can collect them from the other side. So to start off with, we want to move all of these pieces to the back so that we can move the blue piece out with ease. And then go ahead and grab it. And once we do that, we're going to move this to the back. Move this out, move this this way, move that that way. Move this around, move the green 
down into this corner right here, move these two along this left side, then put the green right here, and then collect the green gem like so. From there, we're going to have to drag this all the way out to the right and this one to get the yellow gem into this corner, then move these back up to the, towards the corner and move this little gray to the left, put the yellow one into position, and then the yellow gem is ours. Now, with these three gems, we are going to want to put them in order right here. And there's a very specific order we need, and the order is going to be green in the top right, yellow on the bottom left, blue in the bottom right, and now, if we go over and look through this lens right here, you'll see that it makes a perfect symbol. And now, for the final challenge of the level, let's open up the top, because we, I said open up the top, because we have a maze to solve. And it's a bit, it, it's the same style as the maze that we saw in level 3, but it's a lot more complicated. So just like last time, we can move this little blue dot along the board, but in, this time, instead of simply rotating yourself, you push a button in the middle, which rotates all the different uh, intersecting circles in a bunch of different directions. So, what you want to do is move this as far as it can, and then push this middle button once, then push it again, now bring this as far as it can go, push the middle button once, bring it to the end of this little loop right here, then you want to push it once again, bring it down to the end of this line, push the button, bring it down to the end of this loop, then push this button and drag this to the end, then push this once, and then push it again to line it up right here, go all the way to the end, push this twice, to drag it to the end of this loop, push this one more time, and then you have completed your first maze of two. We still got one more maze to do after this. But before we get to that, what we're gonna want to do is put on the eyepiece, and you can see that there's a symbol right over here. So all we gotta do is align these little objects with the symbol, like so. And doing so is going to give us another shot at a different maze. Well, it's the same maze, but different, different angle, different orientation. So, may as well be a different maze. So this time we can't actually go anywhere out of the start, so we're gonna push this button, dr drag the blue speed or the blue dot all the way to the end, then push the middle button again, bring it all the way to the end, push the push the button again, bring it all the way to the end. Now we want to actually push the button twice this time, bring it all the way to the end of this one right here, then push the this button, then bring then drag this all the way to the end here, push it one more time, and you have solved your second maze, second and final maze and you are one set simple step away from completing the room as a whole. So put on your eyepiece, and this time you'll notice that all we got to, oh, I rotated a bit uh, too early, sorry. So this part is already lined up. This, the, no, don't move the camera. These lines are already in place, but there's this half of the symbol is not. So you gotta rotate this to the left so that you complete the null element, and as soon as this is lined up, you will have completed the first room game. Game complete. You made it through, unflustered I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. Okay, and that is the end of the first room game. Fantastic puzzle game. Very short. About takes probably about an hour to complete. But it's still a fantastic game, Su such clever puzzles, very intuitive interface, not just for mobile devices, but also for PC, and a really intriguing backstory that is going to be delved into a little bit more in the next games. So as I said, that little epilogue just serves as your teaser for The Room 2, the first episode of which, uh, as I said, I'm making walkthroughs for the first three Room games. The first episode of that is going to come out tomorrow at one pay me some standard time. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this I hope I was able to help you get through the game if you never played it, and if you weren't playing along, hope you enjoyed it anyway. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Catch you all tomorrow for episode one of The Room 2. Goodbye.